Dr. Ronald Lett from the Canadian Network for International Surgery. This is the first video on our series of tutorials for minor surgery. So the subject today is surgical instruments. You need to know the instruments to be able to do minor surgery. The first instrument is the needle holder. The needle holder grasps the needle in the jaws. The jaws are scored with an X so that the needle will not slip. When you are doing surgery, you usually use two hands. So you'll have your needle holder in one hand and another forcep in your other hand. This is the Atsin forcep. It's either non-toothed for soft tissue or toothed for skin. Neophytes often refer to surgical instruments as scissors. They aren't all scissors, but we do use scissors. This is the dissecting scissor or Metzenbaum scissor. There is the sharp scissor, which is used for dense tissue. And then there is the suture scissor, which is used to cut the sutures. We reserve the suture scissor for the sutures so that the other scissors remain sharp. When you are doing minor procedures, you will get some bleeding. You control the bleeding with artery forceps, either the straight artery forcep or the curved artery forcep. The artery forcep has a jaw with a straight line on it, which means that when you grasp the vessel and tie it, the artery forcep can slip off. Minor surgery will often involve the use of a scalpel. There is the number three handle and the number four handle for scalpels. You attach blades to the scalpel. We'll show you how to do this in an upcoming video, but you add different scalpel sides and different blade size depending on the procedure and what you need to do. Finally, there is the sponge forcep. The sponge forcep holds a sponge, which you soak in antiseptic solution to prepare the skin to reduce the bacterial content. So in summary, the instruments you need to know about are the needle holder, the Atsin forcep, the artery forcep, the scalpel, the dissecting and other scissors, and the sponge forcep. With those, you can do most laceration repairs and some minor procedures. Thank you for watching and please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and be sure to subscribe and like us on YouTube. If you would like more information about CNIS or on how to become our member, please go to www.cnis.ca.